What up, fellas? What up, fellas? What is going down? What is going down? I hope all my men are doing great today on this Friday night. It's your man here, the Shave Lion King, bro. I'm on day 651. Say it again with me, bro. Day 651 of all this Luke Skywalker, the forces inside me energy bro and i'm feeling great i'm feeling great i'm feeling so great i just wanted to come on here real quick and share a message with y'all bro i just want to share a message with y'all man you know how i do bro i just want to get at y'all man tell y'all this man i want to tell y'all this man i want you to love yourself bro all right i want you to love yourself instead of punishing yourself let me explain something to you guys on what I've learned on my two year, four year, if you want to add it all together, semen retention hiatus. I've learned some important things, bro. Okay. I've learned how to heal thyself. Okay. This is very important, man. I've learned how to heal thyself. And here's the funny thing, guys. We look around in the society, bro. We look around in life, man, looking for answers, right? We all want answers to our problems, bro. And the funny thing is, if we just honestly took the time, bro, okay, and we had enough encouragement, all right, we had enough messed up situations in life, we would understand that all we had to do was turn around, look back inside of ourselves, not outside to no saviors. Not no, not no good books, not no people that are going to come out of the sky and save you, bro. I'm talking about all you have to do is look inside yourself. I don't care if you have depression problems. I don't care what kind of issues you have going on, bro. All you have to do, my man, is focus within and you shall find your answers. Let me tell you guys a quick little story. All you guys know, I used to be in a long-term relationship, right? And I remember back when I first 
discovered semen retention and no fat. I remember back vividly. I was during that time, bro, when I was sitting at home and the minute I started having a relationship problem, the minute when me and my ex weren't getting along, what I would do, what would I do? I would punish myself in many of ways. And how would I punish myself? Well, I could start drinking. I would often do that. I would smoke my brains out. I'd often do that. And then after that, I would end up going to the hub, bro, and releasing my energy. But let me tell you something, man. I started noticing one big major thing about doing this. And that one big major thing was, bro, that I was never happy no matter what I did. And I started to ask and start seeking to for answers. I started praying. I started asking the most high to please help me. Please show me the way because I was going to give up on my life. This is how I was feeling, bro. I was in such a low depression state because out of all these things that was going on, the worst thing that I was doing was constantly re depleting myself, depleting my life force energy. And when I was doing this, like I said, bro, it made me feel worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. So what did it, what is it that I finally decided to do? Well, I decided to do one thing that I had never done. And what was that one thing that I had never done? That one thing that I had never done was to say no to gratification. Was to say no to releasing my sexual energy. I had never done this. You see, we always think that our problems are a lot bigger than they are. When in fact, the only things that we need to do in our lives, bro, is turn off the running faucet. And what does this analogy mean by turning off the runny faucet? Well, let me give you an analogy. If you were to come home to your house right now and you were just to turn on that faucet and you were just to walk away from that faucet, eventually what's going to happen is that faucet is going to end up overflowing. Am I, am I correct? And this is what I started to put together in my life. I said, you know what? For the first time in my life, I'm going to say no to this instant gratification, not knowing what it was going to do to me, not knowing what it was going to bring, but I asked and I prayed for help and the help and the answer came to me almost immediately and me still not knowing that this was the answer that I was seeking. I still continued on and I made a vow with myself. And what was that vow? That vow was never go back, bro to touching myself. That vow was to, to never go back to releasing my life force energy, bro, to a TV screen. And what do you know what happened and transpired in my life? Slowly but surely, I started to get my confidence back. Surely, but and slowly but surely, I started to see the beauty of life. It started off very small. It started off with quitting things that were bad for me, putting down these bad foods that were causing me illness, that were helping keep down my low vibrational or my uh, energy in being low vibrational. I started to put all this stuff down, okay? And then I started to see my eyes got wider and wider and wider. And I said, you know what? This has got to be the answer to all my problems. So what did I do? I kept on going. I kept on going. I got up around 60 days, bro. I got up around 60 days, bro. And I got on the internet immediately. I started up my YouTube channel, okay? The Shave Lion King, bro. I came on here and I started transmuting my energy to the world. Not, not being... Uh, um proud of just of what I had just discovered yet. Okay. I had just started expressing myself on the internet. Okay. Whether that be any kind of content that I was making. And then I got up to 90 days and I'm like, Whoa, bro, this is crazy. I'm really going 90 days, bro. Without watching any kind of disgusting material, bro. 90 days, bro. Without releasing a drop, bro. Okay. And then what do you know? The most high spoke to me again. The most high said, hey, man, 
it's time for you to go on a road trip. Get in your car and go on a road trip. So I did. And what did I end up doing? I ended up going down to Texas and visiting my grandma. Okay. Now, this is where that journey gets interesting because now I'm taking myself out of the element that I once was in, right? The comfort zone, all right? The place where I could easily be able to come back and relapse, right? I took myself out of that position and I went on a road trip. I drove from Washington State all the way down to Texas, bro. And I started to take care of my grandmother. And when I started taking care of my grandmother, I started to see even more, bro, about how this power was transmuting. Because now I'm in the spirit of helping. I'm in the spirit of healing. And so what did I do with my energy? I started helping my grandma out with her health. You know, these people down south, bro, they, 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 they're a little bit behind the curve, if you will, as far as like the health realm goes. Okay. They're still eating tons of bad food. They're still eating things that causes them to have low vibrational energy. Okay. Dead animals. Okay. Less fruits and vegetables. They don't drink clean water. Okay. A lot of these people down South, they drink a lot of alcohol. So here I am, bro. All right. At this time I got down there, bro. I'm up around 120 days of pure hard more semen retention. Okay. And I started transmuting my energy to help everybody around me. This is when I saw the beauty of what it is that I was doing. And when I accidentally, like I said, I accidentally just stumbled upon this because I told myself I did not want to inflict any more damage on myself, bro. Every single time I released, I started to have a guilty conscience, okay? I started to talk down on myself. I started to have less and less confidence. I started to stop being the good-looking, well-spoken, handsome guy that I was because I was caught up in a cycle and I had no idea what it was. But like I said, once I got down there in Texas, it really started to show what it is that I was doing. I got around all my old school friends. I got around all my cousins. I got around everybody that I was comfortable with. And guess what? I had the ability and the power to say no to a lot of things. I had already started building up discipline. I brought this energy down there and I spread it like wildfire. My energy was enlightening people around me. Okay. People in my family were thrilled to see me and the thrilled to see that I had this type of discipline as a man. Okay. Things that I was doing, things that I wasn't eating, the times that I was going to bed, the things that I was focusing and learning on the internet and then regurgitating it to my family and helping them further in their health. Okay. This is the beauty of sexual transmutation. Okay. And this is the beauty, bro. All right. Of taking care of yourself, bro, with love. Let me explain something to you guys. Most of us have experienced love in our lives, right? And we think love is the, some of the, one of the best feelings that there possibly is on this planet. Who doesn't think that everybody is out there searching and wanting some type of love in their life? But let me tell you what frequency is higher than love. There's only one frequency that is higher than love. And what is that frequency, bro? That frequency is authenticity. Authenticity. Okay. It's hard for me to say, but authenticity is the, the, the frequency higher than love. This means when you're being your authentic self, this is when you were at your highest vibration, bro. Okay. When you are on this level, bro, things gravitate to you. The universe bends to your will, okay? You are on the highest vibrating frequency that there is on this realm. And this is what semen retention does to you. I want you guys to understand that you will be able to be who it is that you're supposed to be without even thinking about what the next person is thinking about you. Don't you see the beauty of what it is that we can cultivate inside of our bodies as a man? You can become whoever it is that you want to be. 
and you will walk in your authenticity, bro. Okay. And you will attract abundant wherever you go. Okay. I will, I promise you this, this is the way it works. Okay. Because now instead of inflicting pain on yourself, you are loving yourself. You are now putting yourself in a super high vibration and you're opening up yourself to receive. Remember, you have to be open to receive, okay, in order to get, okay? And in order to get to be able to receive, you have to put yourself in the correct frequency, okay? And that correct frequency is love. Love thyself, okay? Once you put yourself into position to love thyself, okay, the universe literally opens up to you, all right? You become the true person that you were supposed to be. You are now walking on your purpose. You are now found authenticity. And this is the way the creator wants you to be. We all have a part here on this planet. But the problem is a lot of us are not being authentic on who we really are. Hence, the judgment that we get from the outside world due to all of the stereotypes that we have going on down here. Okay, so you must understand in order to get to the level that it is that you want to get to, you have to stop all of the negativity. It doesn't matter what shape. It doesn't matter what form it is. Okay, you got to say you got to be forgiving to anyone who has done wrong to you. You got to be forgiving to anyone who may have hurt you. Okay, and you have to start loving yourself. I bet a lot of you don't understand exactly what loving yourself is. Well, let me go a little bit deeper. Okay. This is a time where you're going to start really, really honing in on what loving yourself really means. That means eating correctly. That means talking to yourself correctly. No negative words. Everything that comes out of your mouth is to build you up. It's all positive talks. You always tell yourself you can, I will, I will succeed. There's nothing that, there's no way a word can't, can't come out of your mouth, okay? You can't use negative words like this. You have to talk to yourself in a highest possible frequency, okay? This is called loving thyself. And then once you accomplish this, all right, things start to manifest out of nowhere, okay? I cannot make this up. It is one of the most beautiful journeys Okay, that there is on this planet, and it can help anybody. I don't care what situation that you're in, you have to tell yourself that you can do it and you have to believe it. And that starts with daily talks, bro. Okay, that starts with here's what I did. Okay, I wrote down all the things that I had problems with. Okay, I wrote them all down. All right, and I told myself up here in my head that I was going to forgive myself for the things that happened. And from this point out, these are the things that I was going to correct. So what in fact started happening to me was one by one, every single thing that I had on that list completely disappeared until I had zero addictions, zero problems in my life. Okay. Because like I said, I forgave all the people who did me wrong. I forgave myself for doing things that I was ignorant of. I was ignorant of getting drunk. I was ignorant of getting high all the time. I was ignorant of binge eating fast foods. I was ignorant of not studying and learning the things that I, that could help me achieve the goals that I wanted. Okay. And it all started with semen retention, bro. I told you, this is the catalyst to change. This is what's going to open your life and give you exactly what it is that you want to achieve in this world. And it's achievable by anybody. Guys, I want you to understand something. This is a very, very important time in civilization, bro, where things are chaotic, okay? Things are chaotic, all right? And it is very imperative that you go within immediately, immediately. The frequency on this planet is changing. And in order for you to get caught up in these high vibrations, you have to align yourself, okay? That's mentally and spiritually, okay? And the only way you're going to do this is, like I said, is by putting yourself in those vibrations. 
semen retention automatically puts you at a high vibration. Okay. Now it is up to you to go inside, bro, and love yourself. And then once you love yourself, that next step is going to come authenticity. Okay. Because you're going to love yourself. And then now you're going to be your authentic self. And don't you see, this is the key, bro. This is the key. This is the key that every man has been wanting. You don't have to fake the funk. You don't have to be out here acting like somebody you're not trying to keep up with the status quo. You're not going to give a rats on what other people think about you because you're being your authentic self. And when you are your authentic self, this is when the universe will bless you. So I want you guys to understand, instead of punish yourself, bro, love yourself, okay? You got so many things out here, man, that are trying to keep you at a low vibrational frequency, man, okay? The TV, the internet, movies, music. Once you open up this door, what in fact is going to happen to you is, my friends, you are going to get the key to everlasting happiness. You are going to be put in a happy place, bro, okay? And it's going to be hard as hell for you to lose that happy place. Why? Because you have aligned yourself. You have put in the work that it takes to reach authenticity. And when you're on this level, I'm telling you right now, bro, I'm telling you right now, everything that you thought that wasn't possible becomes possible. You become intelligent. You become responsible. You become caring, loving. You become confident. All of these attributes that we try to work on one by one just all fall upon your lap. And now you are walking in the highest vibrational frequency in your purpose that you're supposed to be in. And everything else just aligns. This is the most craziest thing that we have discovered, bro, is called semen retention. Okay. It's a reason why everywhere you go, there's sexuality at every corner. It's a reason why you can't go on any social media platform without seeing this, because this is what robs you, the people, from being your true higher self. It's a simple game, but you must be in the correct mind state up here, okay, to align spiritually, to be able to pull in this energy and help you vibrate higher. All right. There's a lot of guys out there. All right. There's a lot of guys out there that are so close to achieving this. And my 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 words of wisdom to you is to keep going and don't give up. OK, this is the one thing that I promise you that retention has taught me bar none and is to never give up, bro. OK, why? Because your life force energy has your back. And as long as you have made a vow and a commitment to move forward and raise this energy and become your higher self, then this energy is going to flow through your body and help you make the correct moves in this matrix. All right. This is one thing that I will always, always continue to preach. Okay. Because it is real. You're looking at somebody, bro, who was living a bad life at one point. All right. I had lost complete focus of everything. I let a relationship bring me down to ground zero, bro. Okay. And all it kept me in was in a nasty cycle on where I just kept wanting to release because I felt like I was depressed. But the minute I turned off that faucet, bro, I turned it off. All the energy started flowing back inside of my temple. And I started to open my eyes and see everything everything from a new higher perspective and this is the beauty of retention so i want you guys to understand this is the most beautiful thing that a man can ever do okay the most beautiful thing that a man can ever do you are now walking with the creator okay you might as well call yourself the incarnation of christ because let me tell you what it is 
you are walking the highest level possible. When Christ was down here, what was Christ doing? Christ was trying to teach others. Christ was trying to uplift others. Christ was healing others. Now, let me get you to understand something. Healing doesn't just have to mean putting your hands on somebody and healing them. You can heal people just with your words. You can heal people just with your actions. You can heal people just with being an example of being healed. And this is what I'm telling you about retention and why it is so beautiful. Because in fact, you are that incarnation. You are being a, a different incarnation of Christ walking. I'm telling you, this is what it is. And this is why when you get up around two years on semen retention, there's this thing called God mode, because that's what it is. You have now got to a level, bro, where everything just flows through your head. You don't have to think about anything. You don't have to write nothing down. All you have to do is sit in front of someone and they will feel your energy resonating to them, whether it's through a screen or through a telephone. This is some amazing power. And we've chalked it down in plenty of other videos where we call them superpowers. Because this is, in fact, what it is. Christ, when Christ was down here, Christ wasn't releasing his energy. Christ wasn't doing this. Christ wasn't doing that. Christ was doing everything that I just exposed to you. And this is the same shoes that you are now walking in. And this is why this is the most important thing that a man should do, because this is going to put you in true authenticity on the way that we're supposed to be as humans. But you guys don't understand that we have been corrupted. OK, we've been corrupted by society to live and to be something that we're not. OK, so just focus this energy within. OK, trust me on what I'm telling you. This is going to make your life a thousand times better. And you might be one of these people that might be end up being bigger than we've ever seen. We don't know what we're going to get out of this energy, bro. Okay. It, it, all of us are different. Okay. I want you to understand that all of us are different, bro. Okay. We don't know who's out there that is going to get on this journey and who's going to change the world. Okay. But I'm telling you as a collective, this is one of the number one things that we need people to get on because the more people we have doing this, the domino effect of this type of energy can change the world overnight. And I promise you that. I appreciate that, Jordy. He says, couldn't have been live at a better time. Much respect. I appreciate that, brother. I appreciate you being in here tonight, man. I hope you're staying on your journey. I hope you're cultivating your sexual energy, bro. This is no joke, okay? I get There's so many people out there in this world, bro, that, that want to be closer to the most high, that want to be closer to the creator. This is your walk with the creator, point blank, period. I'm not downplaying any of you people out there that are in relationships. I'm not downplaying any of you people out there that are in marriages. But I'm telling you right now, the only way you're going to get close to the creator, the only way you're going to feel this type of energy, the only way you're going to have a true undisturbed link between you and the most high is to be on retention and raise your vibrations to the frequency of love and authenticity. Okay. When you do this, the doors open up, okay? The downloads start, and now you are a walking, incarnated, higher vibration uh, being on this planet, leading others, bro, leading others to the promised land. This is the facts. You can go and look up any of this information online, bro. Look at all the yogis. Look at all the people who've actually really practiced this for years and years and years, and you look at what they're doing. They're leading thousands and thousands and thousands of groups of people and they're teaching and they're giving this message and they're enlightening these people. Okay. But it's funny that here in America, we're on a totally different vibration. Okay. We're on a totally different vibration in America. That's why I told you I truly, and I will believe, and I will take this to the grave, bro. 
that if you are on semen retention in America, you are our true chosen one. Okay. You are a true chosen one. There is not very many people out here on this walk. Okay. And this is what's going to make you be set apart from all the rest of these people. So stay on your journey, keep going, keep working hard and never give up. And I promise you, if this is what you want, if this is what you want, it will be yours, but it's all up to you. I promise you, there's nothing that the, the society, that social media, that TV can do to you to distract you. If you set your mind straight and say, this is what you want to do. It's all up to you. Your life is in your hands. Swayze said, what's up, bro? It's 1030 where I'm at. Just got done working out for the third time today. That's what's up, Swayze. Good job, brother, man. Keep trans, keep uh, transmuting that energy, bro. Stay in that gym. Let me tell you something too, bro. I know you guys know this, bro, but working out is imperative to a man. Okay, you don't gotta do it three times in a day. You ain't gotta. You don't even gotta do it three times a week. But you must work out as a man. You must work out as a man, especially harnessing all of this energy. Okay, there's plenty of other things that you can do, but weights is a must okay so stay in that gym stay pumping that iron stay working out stay on your jogging stay on your calisthenics whatever it is that you do continue to do that bro so you can help transmute this sexual energy without putting you and setting you back into possible relapse oh yeah i appreciate that Ugo. he says uh hair is looking dope it's getting long bro it's getting long man I got my antennas on point, bro. Okay, like I said, man, I'm a I'm a new person sitting up here, bro. I'm a new man sitting up here in front of you guys, bro. I, I can't front, bro. I'm sitting up here at 43 years old, bro, sitting on top of the throne, sitting on top of my throne of life, okay? There's not no one that could take this from me. There's not no one that can talk down on me and tell me that I'm not doing what I'm doing. I'm a fucking king, and I'm living like it. OK, and the most high is respecting me as a king. The universe is respecting me as a king and you will be the same. You will get the same respect if you're walking this narrow path in life. I promise you that. OK, so stay on your journey. I promise. Valentine Steenkamp says, what's good, gentlemen? I appreciate you stopping in, Valentine. Shout out for that uh, message, bro. Uh, so how you say your name? Smozy, Smozy, Smozvy. Is that how you say it? I appreciate that, bro. Thanks for the, thanks for the shout out, man. Already having more vivid dreams from quitting pornography. Now, listen, that's another thing. I'm glad you brought up that point, bro. Okay. I can attest to that. All right. There was a time there. Like I said, it's been years now, bro. It's been so many years. It's, it's, it's up there. I, I think I'm at seven to eight years ago since I've watched any of that crap. Okay. That's a long time, bro. Okay. That is a long time. And one of the first things that I noticed, bro, when I started doing that was having vivid dreams. I was having some super vivid dreams, bro. When I first started all that, stopped all that crap. Okay. Real talk, bro. All right. And you also got to remember, man, to eat properly remember your 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 temple bro is a high vibrating machine bro all right and you must put good stuff inside your body all right just remember that fruits and veggies bro fruits and veggies okay ain't nothing wrong with eating some meat here and there if that's what you gotta do bro okay but if you want this machine to run at this tippy top bro fruits and vegetables mostly fruits bro it's going to keep you vibrating on a super high level and you're going to get the most out of your journey. Okay. I promise you that, bro. Try it if you think I'm capping, bro. Okay. Fruits, bro. All right. That is the best fruit. That's the best fuel for your body, hands down. He said, damn near two years. Ain't that crazy, bro? Ain't that crazy? But let me ask you guys a true question. And I want you to be for real with me. All right. I'm sitting up here and I've made it two years. Okay. You might as well call it two years. I've made it two years, bro. Two years. 
do I sit up here and look, am I sitting up here looking crazy? Am, am I sitting up here looking like my life is just crazy and I'm unstable because I'm not releasing my fluids? Or do you see someone that is so calm in his demeanor? Okay. Well-spoken, sharp dressed, sharp mind. All right. Reversing aging. If you ask me, um, I'm still, I, I'm still up there, but bro, I see people my age, bro, that look way older than me, bro. Okay. I'm still keeping that youthful mind, bro. All of these benefits that I don't got for this, bro, it is, it is unmatched by anything else I've ever done. There's not one supplement that I've taken out there. And I've taken some expensive supplements that are supposed to do this, that, and the third. And nothing out there has made me feel as good as I feel on pure hardcore 651 days, bro. 650, holla, 651 days. I know fools that can't even go three days. I'm 651 days, bro. And it has taught me so much. And it has made me the person that I want to be. Because I promise you this, even though I'm not looking for a relationship, the next person, the next female that I'm in a relationship with, bro, I'm going to be more than a perfect man. Okay. I'm going to be able to see signs. I'm going to be able to treat this person, bro, the way they deserve to be treated as well as myself, because I've gone and I love myself first. I am walking in true authenticity. I'm attracting people every single day, bro. I talk to so many people and it's just crazy on how much things get shared with me on a daily. It's because of my energy. It's because of who I am. And any of you can obtain this. This is what I want you to know. I'm no one special in the fact that, meaning that I'm different from all of you. I'm only special because I'm one of these people who truly, truly, truly took a hold of this journey and is doing it truly correctly. Okay. I've showed you that I put down everything that was bad for me. There's nothing out here that bothers me. Okay. I don't have negative energy in my vicinity anywhere, bro. I'm walking around every day, a happy man. Okay. And I attract what I'm putting out and people treat me amazingly. Okay. And I'm learning so many new things. I'm getting so confident at certain things that I once was never confident at. And this is why I'm telling you, I know, man, there's nothing greater than this. All right. There's nothing greater than this. And for all you guys that are sitting down there in the lower threshold that are making your way up this totem pole, let me tell you something, man. Just enjoy the ride. Okay. There's going to be ups and downs. You got to understand to get on the highest level that there is, just like any other game, I always compare it to a game, just like any other game, bro. All right. There's going to take times where you're going to have to start over. There's going to take times where you're going to have to put that game on pause. There's going to be times where you're going to have to figure out a different route through a, a certain part of the game. Let me tell you though, when you get here, because you're going to get here once you've planted the seed, once you get here, bro, life is truly beautiful, okay? Life is truly beautiful. And remember this, if you go into those guys out there that have a female in your life, please understand that she can do the same thing, okay? She can do the same thing while you're practicing retention, okay? All you two have to do is conserve your sexual energy, bro, all right? If you're in a relationship, why can't you guys go two, three weeks without touching each other, all right, and harness your sexual energy and help uplift each other and help get each other on this high vibrational frequency so you can feel the true power of who it is you're supposed to be, all right? I want you guys to do this, man, because I'm telling you, man, I don't want to be the only person that feels like this. Life is great. I hear so many people worried about things that are going on in this world. I'm not worried about anything, bro. I know the most high has got me and I know I got myself. I know that I'm never going to be down about anything that's going on. 
There's no way anyone could come up to me, bro, and make me have a bad day. It's impossible. My feeling is great. I just feel like I'm high on life. I'm telling you the truth. All right. I don't know how many times I got to tell you guys this. I am high on life. And we sit back and we let people poke fun and think just because you're not doing this and you're not doing that, that you might be a square or you might be someone who don't get none or something stupid. Listen, look how, listen how stupid and low vibrational people are. I told you we're in a time now, bro, where we're going to start looking at low vibrational people for who and what they truly are. Okay. They are so stuck in such a low vibrational frequency that the only thing that they can make themselves feel good on is trying to bring others down back to their level. That's all people have to stand on. They hate to see somebody shining with light, bro, and have things figured out in their lives. Okay. They hate it. But I'm telling you right now, they're going to wish that they were you real soon. All right. Because you are going to be the person walking in abundance. We're heading to a whole new fucking energy on this planet. Okay. Don't think just because things are getting bad that they're not going to get good. Remember, things get a lot worse before they get better. It's the way it works. And you want to be one of those people, bro, that are sitting up in this frequency, bro, on cruise control, just a living a life undisturbed by all the chaos that's going on. All right. You're just going to be happy and you're going to be attracting a lot more in your life. I promise you that. Spiritual War Martin, much love, fam. I appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you. Listen, guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to Spiritual War Martin, man, get over to my man's channel, bro. He's a real one. Okay. He's a real one. He's a chosen one, just like the rest of us sitting here in this live stream. All right. This dude right here is he knows what's going on. Okay. I watched Spiritual Martin's uh content, bro. All right. He's a great leader, man. All right. He's gonna have plethora of information too that you might not have yet heard here because I'm not quite sure exactly where he is on his journey, but I know he's practicing and I've listened to him talk many of times, and I'm telling you. He's a chosen one. I appreciate you coming in here, Spiritual Martin. VVS says, this is resonating with me a lot. Day 11, feeling your rope. You're for it. Sorry, bro. I appreciate that, VVS, for coming in here, man. I haven't seen you in a while, bro. Hope everything is going good with you, bro. I hope you still will stay on that journey until you reach your goals. Okay? Because, look, let me ask you guys another thing. We've been doing the releasing our life force energy for so long. Okay, think about it. Some of us have been doing this since we were 15, 16 years old. Okay, think about it. All right. And now you're up in your 20s. Some of us are up in our 30s. Some of us are up in our 40s. You've been doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. And your life has not changed, not one bit. Aren't you tired of being stagnant, bro? Aren't you tired of living in the same frequency? Don't you want to become somebody else on this world? It's like it's like so many of you guys don't understand that this life is going to go by just like that. And you're wasting time every single day, bro. Instead of jumping on your horse and leaving your mark on this world, that is the most important thing a man should be doing. There is, we, we are already in few numbers on this planet, bro. All right. This is why it's imperative for us to take this shit seriously, man. Okay. You are going to look back on your life when you get older and you're going to see how much time you wasted. It's going to literally make you sick that you didn't decide to be a leader, a standout person, bro, and, and give back to humanity. This is the way to live, man. Life becomes so much better when you're on this side of the spectrum, bro, okay? Like I said, you just live life and ain't no one ever going to be able to bring you down. That is the best 
thing that I could tell you. What other life would you rather leave than a life of peace and happiness and abundance and joy and true authenticity to be able to come on a platform like YouTube, the biggest platform in the world, bro, and be able to give back to others. And now they're going to go out and spread that seed to everybody else and make sure that this garden grows as full as it possibly can. That is beautiful as a man, okay? And like I said, someone is going to see you. Someone is going to resonate with your energy. And just, just a matter of time before that perfect person comes into your life and you guys create magic by two high vibrating frequencies coming together, bro, all right? Who knows what you can accomplish, okay? Because we're just sitting here on our solo mission. Imagine getting our twin flame. Imagine uniting with the person that we're supposed to be with and being able to come together with this energy, bro. And what, imagine what else you're going to be able to create. The possibilities are endless. This is a surreal moment. This isn't a live stream. This is a, a, this is a moment in time where the divine is reaching out to everybody and giving you these messages that you need to take a hold of and implement into your life immediately. Because this is what you're going to want at the end of your journey. I promise you that. Valentine says, do you think that weed is bad even if you smoke it in moderation? No, I don't think it's bad. In, 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 in fullness, I don't think it's bad. Okay. You got to understand, though, we're in a today, bro, time where it's just not the same anymore. OK, it's not the same anymore, bro. All right. So depends on what your definition of moderation is. All right. I told you in a live stream probably months ago that, you know, if you can be one of these people, one puff, one puff and you're good, more power to you. But if you're one of these people out here that is, you know, waking up and, and smoking, Going to sleep and smoking, waking up and smoking, going to sleep and smoking. Absolutely not. It's going to be bad for you. Okay. Cause again, that's something that is you're developing a habit. Okay. An addiction. Okay. It's, that's something that's going to be bad for your journey. Okay. Cause on this journey, like I said, if you're really doing it right, you put down all vices, you won't be having anything that's going to be messing up your life like that. Okay. Now, if you want these people that have the seed, and you can go grow your own and it's pesticide, herbicide, fungicide free. All right. You've grown it from the earth. All right. What you're really supposed to be doing is you're supposed to be eating the plant. You're not supposed to be smoking it. Okay. But yet and still, if you still are able to just accomplish what I said, you're one of these people that you can literally just take one puff, bro, and be on with your day. More power to you. But if you're one of these people that wake and bake, Go to smoke before you go to sleep, smoke before you take a shower, smoke before you get something to eat, smoke before you play your video games, smoke before you work out, then it's going to be bad for you without a doubt. Spiritual uh, Spirit Martin says, this journey is real deal and a blessing. Facts, bro. It's a blessing. Why is it a blessing? Because this is what the most high wants you to do. So many of you talk about the most high. So many of you talk about the creator. Well, this is what the creator expects of you and nothing less. Okay. Nothing less. We all know that this, this energy is used to create a child. We know that. So why are you using it for recreational purposes? Why are, are you just wasting it, bro? Like, like, it's just like, you know, some juice that you got in a jug. You're just pouring it out and you just, you're, you're wasting it. You're not using this energy the way it's designed to be used. And if you were, then you would understand every single thing that I'm saying about this journey is for real. Okay. You got so many people that come in here that watch these videos, bro. And they're not even on this journey themselves. All right. I want you guys to understand that you got these guys that come here and watch these videos and not even on the journey themselves. 
So there's no possible way they could even fabricate, you know, what I'm saying, you know, and then making them think that it doesn't work. There's no possible way, bro. This shit works. All right. And now you know why they have free pornography all over the internet because they're going to make sure. All right. Something like that, that costs all these millions of dollars that they give it to you for free because in the end, they are benefiting on you being low vibrational. Because when you're low vibrational, you're just going to add to all the problems that are continually going on on our planet. What up, G? Retention gang, bro, let's create a what's up group chat. Um, I don't know anything about any apps, bro. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, that's just not my thing, man. Um, I tell you what though, I'll tell you what, since you brought that up, if you want to take, uh, control of that situation, create a group, I'll be glad to come and join it. Okay. But I'm going to leave that responsibility on your shoulders. All right. You go ahead and create that app. All right. You create that chat group. Shoot, shoot me a message. I'll be glad to join. I'll be glad to, to input my information that I have to help. Okay. But that's something that I want these people who suggest that to start. Okay. Cause if I suggest anything then I'm going to start it. All right. But since I'm not the one, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you right now, I will do it, bro. Okay. Just be the first in the, the, to start it up and I'll join. B BVS says, I've been good. I've just been having to address the sex worship programming from my mind and cleaning up my environment. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. And that's what you must do as a man. Okay. That's what you must do as a man. But I'm telling you right now, VVS, if you're one of those guys out there that's been playing around, you ain't got much time left to prove yourself. All right. The, the, listen. The most high, the creator, bro, is very patient, okay? How do I know this? Because this is one of the number one things that you learn on being retention is you learn how to be patient, okay? The most high is very patient, bro. But you must understand, bro, there's only so much patience a patient person can have too, all right? The most high is waiting on us to be real leaders in this world, bro. This is not a talk. This is not to inspire you. This is the truth. Stop wasting time with your father looking down over all of us, expecting us to be a certain way, and you're not there yet. You just keep making excuses, all right? There is no excuse, bro, for relapsing, okay? I don't empathize with anybody that relapses. You go find you another page for that, okay? You're talking to an OG. You're talking to someone who's on two years, almost two years of retention and has done it before. Okay. So I'm not going to sit here and empathize with you. Okay. Cause if I can do this, I know you can do this. I can easily say, you know what? I'm just going to reach in my pants and rub one out. I can easily go down to the bar on Saturday nights, find one of the, the, the easiest girls in the bar and, and try to make my way home with that. I can easily do that, bro. All right. So there ain't nothing wrong with you saying, I'm going to do the same thing that the shape Lion King's doing and show the ultimate discipline and be the best leader that you can possibly be. What else would you want to be as a man? What is your purpose as a man? What are your attributes as a man? What are your strengths as a man? You're strong. You're fearless. You're a leader. Now, let me ask you, are you really living out those attributes as a man? Are you? Are you really showing strength? Or are you one of these people that are showing weakness? Because I said, reaching in your pants and relapsing is a weakness. Thank you. I really appreciate that comment, bro. That's exactly what it is. We are transitioning into a great reset. A new world is coming soon. And people don't believe it. Like I said, l let me tell you something, bro. I, I learned something the other day. And I have to accept it. I learned that everybody ain't going to make it. This doesn't mean everybody's bad. This doesn't mean everybody's stupid. This doesn't mean everybody's worthless. But 
hear me clearly. And this is why I'm begging y'all to, I don't know what you're waiting for here. You, you don't have much time left. You don't have much time left before this shift happens. And you're going to be one of these people stuck on the other side of the veil. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, but you don't believe me because you don't see Jesus walking down here with long fucking hair and, 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 and glowing white skin, right? You don't see someone that they, they pulled out of a book and told you that's supposed to be your savior. When I sat here and told you, ain't nobody coming to save you. The only person who's going to save you is yourself. Okay. Everything in the matrix is controlled. All right. Everything, bro. All right. It's the way it is. It's how they got control. And if your energy is low vibrational, if you're down here spanking your monkey, you're down here lying, stealing, cheating, fornicating, lying, all right, hurting people, being angry, lusting, then guess what? Your energy is going to be too heavy and you're not going to go nowhere. But you all think this is a game. You think that just because someone made something up and told you that they're going to cover you in their blood, that you were saved. How bad does that sound? What, what sounds more realistic to you? What I just told you or what they're saying? I just want, I'm not, listen, I know that I shouldn't even be talking this far because what I've learned is I can't help everybody. If the message goes over your head, then the message isn't meant for you. Okay. You're one of those people that might not make it. It doesn't make you a bad person. The most high loves you. You're going to have to do it again. I told you guys this. You're going to have to do it again, bro, until you get it right. All right? I want you to understand that. All right? But I don't want you to be left behind. The one thing that I don't want, because I'm an empath and I'm highly sensitive, bro, is I don't want anyone, not anyone, not even my worst enemy to be left behind. All right? Because at the end of the day, I know this. When you die, you turn back to pure matter, pure energy. Okay. There's no hate. There's no evil. There's none of that. Okay. Unless you've been judged already. There's none of that. You're going to turn back to this pure energy, bro, to what you really originally are. All right. So I know under all of this acting, all this under this stuff that we walk around, this facade that we carry around as people, I know that there's a good, honest soul in there somewhere. But it's your job to figure out what's happening here and free yourself, okay? I want everybody to make it, bro, okay? So just keep trying. Don't ever give up. This is why we say don't ever give up because when there's a will, there's a way. Just because you think you're down and out and you're low, don't think that you know, you're not going to be able to free yourself. You are. You just have to keep going. You have to keep working hard, and you got to really want this. And eventually you'll get it exactly what it is that you want. BTD says, I have a baby son and I'm already planning on how to teach him all of this stuff. With how the internet and society is, I will have to start very early with this. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. And I appreciate you for being in here, BT, uh, BTD. B BDT, man, I'm having a hard time tonight. It's just got off work. I'm bad. My bad, you guys. I'm just kind of tired, but I had to put this stream out, man, because I'm not going to have any other time to really come on here. So you're absolutely right, brother. You're absolutely right, man. This is what you're going to have to do. And I've tried to do the same thing with my youngins. Okay. And you have to teach them slow, but eventually they will get it. And for the simple fact that they have your, your, your genes, bro, they're going to be able to pick this up one day. Okay. As long as you plant that seed. And if, you know, God forbid that you're not around to see things through, they're going to have your spirit there, bro. Okay. And they're going to figure this thing out. Okay. But the, the, the most important thing for us to do though, as chosen ones though, is to try to help as many people as possible graduate. That's the most important part. Okay. And we have to understand that there's a strategic plan put in place, bro, that has been put on all of our ancestors for generations, bro. All right. And it's kept us, you know, it's, it's kept most of us here. It's kept most of us stuck in this matrix, bro. 
So the important part is, man, like I said, is to try to free as many souls as possible. And that's what we're here to do as chosen ones. So just trust what's in your heart, okay? And not what you're being told. Trust what's in your heart, go within, okay? Because like I said, if you don't go within, you go without. That means you get left behind. So you're going to have to go within, bro. Figure out what's going on with yourself, all right? And then once you hit that true level of authenticity, live in the vibration of love, you'll start to see the tricks of this matrix. You'll start to see and learn that every single thing that they're doing out here is to keep you stuck here. The hate, the racism, the the uh, the divide, the divide and conquer, the color agenda, okay? The uh, battle of the sexes. All of these different things that they have out here, bro, are keeping you way down in a low vibrational frequency, which is not going to, uh, which is going to help you, excuse me, which is going to make sure that you're not able to ascend. Appreciate you coming on. Even if you're tired, much respect and much appreciate. I appreciate that, bro. Operation shut down, my man. I really appreciate you, bro. You're a good dude, man. You're a good dude. You're always showing respect. You're always showing love, bro. I hope everything is well with you and yours, bro. So that's it, guys. That's it. Okay. I want you to understand before I get out of here, love yourself instead of punish yourself. Okay. Love yourself instead of punish yourself. Try it one time, okay? Try it one time, all right? When you're sitting down and you're in your low vibrational energy, the world's done got to you. Maybe your bills are stacked up. Maybe you ain't have a job. Maybe things seem like they keep going wrong in your life. But let me tell you something. Things will not just keep going wrong in your life if you're doing right. Let me repeat that. Things will not keep going wrong in your life if you're doing right. OK, so if you want to really, truly test yourself and think that you're doing right in life, things will go well. I told you, you will be in the spirit of peace and happiness and joy. OK, nothing will be able to bring that frequency down and you will be always be able to light your way. And this is the truth. OK, this is the truth. So the way you get here, bro. All right. For a man is you start off by retaining your seed and loving yourself and raising your frequency. And once you get there, the rest is history. I won't need to explain it to you anymore. You're going to know exactly what to do. And that's all my mama. I missed the super chat. He says, can't have your cake and eat it. Says, Darius, when you, when you get a chance, if you're going to go live, Please set up a reminder for us so we don't have to miss the start of your show. Thanks, bro. And keep preaching. You're absolutely right, bro. And I honestly wish I could do that. Uh, can't have your cake and eat it. I really wish I could do that. Like I said, the way things are going, man, I've, I've had had a new job. I've, you know, I'm just, it's just things are just switching around and I'm just trying to ride the wave, bro. But eventually when I get some consistency back on exactly what it is I'm doing, I will in fact do that. Okay. Cause I understand that I'm missing out on a lot of people coming in watching what I'm putting out because I'm not being consistent with the days I'm going live. And I truly am sorry. And I apologize for that. Okay. But at this point, I'm just trying to just do the best that I can. That's why you had these sporadic videos that I just did, you know, back to back to back to back. Because again, I don't know when the next time I'm going to be going live because of different things that are going on in my life. But I promise you when I get everything together, bro, that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, my guys, I'm about to get out of here. All right. Um, I'm actually quite, quite tired, bro. Um, and I got to get up and do it all over again. But let me tell you some one thing, though. I don't frown upon what I'm doing. OK, I'm actually very happy at what I'm doing. I love life now. I used to not like life. I used to be like, this shit is so hard. And it is. It's hard. But that doesn't mean you look down on life because it's hard. OK, you look at the positives that's going on in life and you let that uplift you and keep you in high spirits, bro. OK, and when you're retaining to this level, bro, life is fun every day. 
because you learn something new every day. You meet someone new every day and you're going to eventually conquer all the things that you once thought were unachievable. And that is why I love being our retention in this lifetime, because without it, without it, bro, I would have just been done, gave up, but I stayed focused. I prayed and I got the answer and now I'm teaching it to y'all. So you guys have a good rest of the night and I will try to check in with you guys next week sometime. And I will try to get out that notification to let you know that I'll be going live earlier in the week. I'll probably do that. All right. You guys have a good weekend. Be safe. Don't give up on your journey. Stay focused. I also want to send um, um, prayers out to New York City. Uh, curse you guys didn't know New York City had a huge flash flood and they are completely underwater. I know my man TC's out there. I hope he's doing okay. All right, TC, I'm some, sending some prayers out to you guys out there, man. All right, I hope everything gets better in, in New York, bro. Okay, it's, it's pretty sad that they didn't put that on the news. But New York, if you get up on the internet, you'll see for yourself. Check out some of the TikTok videos. There's a couple of YouTube videos that's showing currently right now what's happening in New York. So prayers go out to all those guys. You guys have a good rest of the night, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Love you guys, man. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.